Toyota's Land Cruiser 70 Series is an absolute legend in this country and to celebrate its 70th anniversary here, Toyota is selling 600 Special Edition 70 Series, single cab, dual cab and wagons. We've obviously got the single cab cab chassis. There are no mechanical differences between this and a standard version, but there are plenty of styling tweaks that are sure to make Toyota fans happy. But is it worth the extra money over a standard version? Well, that's what we're here to find out, so stick around. In this video, I'm going to give you plenty of information about this vehicle, but if you want to know something in particular, there are time codes on screen now, and if you're watching this video on YouTube, there are chapter markers below. And as always, if you're watching this review on YouTube, make sure you hit like, share it with your mates, and make sure you hit subscribe and tap that bell icon to stay up to date with all of our content. Our test vehicle is the 79 series single cab cab chassis. All 70th anniversary variants are based on the GXL. Standard features include a 6.1 inch touchscreen multimedia system, sat nav, Bluetooth, cruise control. It even has air conditioning and power windows. Wow, that's posh. It has a 3.5 ton brake towing capacity, front and rear diff locks, a raised air intake and a 130 litre fuel tank. Beyond those things though, it has few features that actually set it apart from a standard 70 series. And those are mostly styling tweaks, which I'll cover soon. The anniversary models are priced from just over 80,000 for the single cab, just over 82 for the double cab, and 78,500 for the wagon. We'll throw this cruiser's dimensions up on screen now, but if you're after all the details, make sure you read my full written review at the Cars Guide website. In terms of styling, you get this nice black heritage grille, you get a black bumper and flares, but you also get some nice subtle badging down the side, 70th anniversary and also heritage style Land Cruiser badging. Inside this special edition 70 series, you get a bunch of styling tweaks that haven't been offered in previous variants. Of course, to mark the 70th anniversary, you get the black premium upholstery, you get a nice wood grain look on the steering wheel and on the dash there, as well as leather on the steering wheel and on the shifter. Beyond that, you do get some nice badging to commemorate the occasion down here near the shifter and also near the glove box. But Otherwise, it is a rather spartan space, as per usual in a 70 series cab, but I like it. It's very basic, but it's easy to get a feel for and easy to get comfortable in. In terms of storing, well, there's not a lot. There is some behind the seats here. You get cup holders in the middle here, a couple of shallow spaces here and there, as well as a glove box. That's kind of deep to throw your workbooks and logbooks into. You are sport for choice for USB chargers though. There are two here, two in the front, and one right near the multimedia screen, and that's a 6.1 inch unit. But there is no Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. This 79 series has the heavy duty steel tray that's got the checker plate base and the headboard there with the window protector. It's got the drop down sides and tailgate, and there are tie down and anchor points along either side. And because this is the business end of a single cab cab chassis, you've obviously got plenty of load space. All 70 series Land Cruisers have the 4.5 litre turbo diesel V8 engine, and that produces 151 kilowatts and 430 newton metres. Now this engine is a real goer, and in combination with the five-speed manual gearbox, you've got a hell of an off-road pairing. Now, as well as those, you have front and rear diff locks, and you've of course got part-time four-wheel drive with high range and low range. So you'd be pretty safe in expecting that something that looks like a box on wheels drives like one, but the news isn't all that bad. Ride and handling are actually okay. Steering is pretty good, it's got a nice balance to it, but it's a very comfortable open road cruiser. And in fifth gear, you can just lazily stretch the 70 series legs and enjoy the ride. However, there are a few negatives. 
it is quite noisy inside the cabin and that's because it is a straight up and down space so you are copying plenty of wind there's a fair bit of tire roar in the background as well as some engine noise i don't mind it but it's going to get on a few people's nerves i can imagine the seats are surprisingly comfortable and i've done plenty of kilometers in a couple of variations of 70 series the wagon and the troopy and in this they really are easy to spend a fair amount of time in and the 70 series like the rubicon and the Jimny, demand a lot from the driver and that makes you feel dialed in it makes it a real visceral experience a windows down feel every bump kind of drive and call me an old codger but i for one really enjoy that kind of driving and also another negative especially because this is a single cab cab chassis is that the ride can get pretty harsh at times a little bit skippy and that's not unexpected because it is a ute after all but if you're not ready for that kind of roller coaster ride then it might come as a bit of a shock So while it's not atrocious in terms of ride and handling or comfort on road, it really is the master of its domain when you head off road. When you're four wheel driving in the 70 series, you can't help but have fun. There is heaps of visibility for starters because you're in this straight up and down cabin. The part-time four wheel drive system is real easy to use. You just work off the good old stubby stick down there near the, near the normal shifter. And in low range, this is an all conquering beast. It's got such a, a low, low crawl ratio that you can really just creep up and down what might be obstacles that other vehicles won't be able to tackle at all. The only characteristic in the 70 series when it comes to four wheel driving that may irk some, it, it gets on my goat a bit is the huge turning circle this is not a highly maneuverable vehicle when you're out bush it's okay you have to think about where you want to put it you have to think about the line you want to take and how to get in and out of trees on the squeezier tracks but it can feel like you're steering a school bus around every now and again there is so much torque on tap here from the big V8 turbo diesel engine that you really have access to it right across a broad rev range. So as well as a super torquey engine, good low range gearing, good engine braking, just a whole setup that's built for hardcore off-roading. The 70 series manages to be so capable you can forgive it the fact that it sacrifices a fair amount in terms of comfort. This is a vehicle purpose built for four wheel driving and it comes from a strong tradition of off-roading machines with a separate chassis and live axles front and rear. Sure, it's not the most comfortable or contemporary ute around, but it's very capable on this kind of terrain. Official fuel consumption is 10.7 litres per 100 kilometres on a combined cycle. Our actual fuel consumption during this test was 12.3 litres per 100 kilometres, which isn't too bad considering we spent a fair amount of time on the dirt with some low range four wheel driving thrown into the mix. So if you drive like me, you should get an effective range of just over 1000 kilometres out of that 130 litre fuel tank. And that's doing a mix of road and dirt tracks and some low range four wheel driving. That range grows to around 1200 kilometres if you can get your fuel use closer to the official fuel consumption figure. But remember to take 30 to 50 kilometres off any estimated fuel range figure to make sure that you have a better idea of your safe touring range. Range. The Land Cruiser 79 single cab cab chassis has the maximum 5 star ANCAP safety rating as a result of testing in September 2016. 
As standard, it has driver and front passenger airbags, curtain shield and driver's knee airbags, as well as brake assist, stability control and traction control. But as you can see on your screen right now, this old school four wheel drive does not have any of the new active safety tech of more modern vehicles. All Land Cruiser 70 series have a five year unlimited kilometre warranty and cap price servicing is available. The 79 series is unashamedly an old school ute and it plays superbly well to its strengths. It's robust, it's capable and it's a whole lot of fun to drive but its weaknesses are glaring. It lacks driver assist tech and it doesn't have many of those creature comforts we come to expect in other modern utes and those utes are a lot cheaper than this as well. But that's missing the point because this has a real old school rough charm about it and it's pretty easy to like. But what do you reckon? Is this old school cool or just simply cruel? Have your say in the comments section below.